Nelson again with Uniton Aqua Farms. I'm here in Detroit, Michigan with one of our main projects and continue growing. Um, what you see behind me is our fish farming. I have the same concept as aquaponics as you've seen in my previous videos, but this is just the fish production section. We have greenhouses on the other side and we're going to have three hook greenhouses, uh, 30 by 96. Uh, what you see behind me here uh, fish tanks. These are rearing tanks, grower tanks. One of these tanks is approximately a thousand gallons, but right now so, uh, uh, the level is at 700 gallons, which is capable of producing five to 600 fish, uh, plate size fish. We're talking about tilapia. They're targeting to produce tilapia because they're very rare in this area, considering the fact that the temperatures are extremely cold. Um, what you see here is very unique. Uh, there is nothing like this what you see here, here in Detroit. Uh, people live in a very, very actually low life standard over here, uh, which means having uh, fish produced locally will reduce the cost of tilapia and of course will increase the value to the local market. Um, I will just kind of go and break on a, break, a quick breakdown of how this system works. Um, you see, we have, this is the farthest tanks. These three tanks actually looked up to a Venturi system. The Venturi system helps to add uh, water uh, aeration in the tank itself. Right now we just lift it so, uh, to suck up the water better. We don't want so much aeration right now at the moment. But once you introduce the fish, you're just going to extend the pipe down to the water and start the Venturi. Uh, I can show you. The, the square footage of this building is very small, but we wanted to use it as efficient as possible when it comes to space. The footprint of this building itself is very small. It's 30 by 40 actually buildings, very short in this room itself. The total uh, length of the building is 30 by 50. So we only have 10 feet left on the other side. Actually, yeah, a little, a little longer. So it might be close to 55 or so. But here we fit, we're able to fit seven, a thousand gallon tanks, including, um, without including actually our filtration system. Each of the filtration uh, system is IBC pots, and we have actually three filtration system and one reservoir to refill uh, any amount of water that will be lost due to evaporation and what actually the fish consume. Uh, on the other side, there is an outlet that cycles the water back to the uh, greenhouse which is actually, we're kind of waiting on the process, but that's still working on it. But uh, that's the future goal. For right now, I'm not gonna go into the details on how the filtration system works, but on the very first uh, system, in the cell cellula, the second one is for media bits. It has media poles in there for the bacteria breakdown. And then the, uh, the third one is where the pump gets actually pumps again, and here, the fourth one and last one is the reservoir to refill that amount of water that's been lost in the system. It has been an adventure. Uh, if you have seen my previous videos, we want to make things very unique in meeting everybody's budgets. Uh, especially here in Michigan, things are very, very hard to find and feedings are very, very difficult to find as compared to California where it used to work. So anywhere in the United States, if you come across my video, we can come and give us our budget. We make an announcement on what you want to produce and we can actually make it work for you. Uh, we don't care how far we drove. We drove two days to make sure this plant actually is in place and it's working like what you see. Uh, could you just show them how the tanks uh, look? You can see you get the agitation on the water. Uh, we have partition. These tanks were um, kind of a little bit not too steady so we use a 2 by 4 to make it steady and at the same time they're going, to use to, they're going to be used as harvesting rock when we harvest the fish. So tilapia will love this. It's a, it's a good depth tank and good water quality. And what, what is the most important thing there about these tanks, they also have insulation, which means they can retain the amount of heat, especially in the cold temperature, cold seasons, like winter, because it's just around the corner. This system itself will be able to run approximately three greenhouses, probably more. Uh, that's just a rough number estimate between fish and plant ratio. Um, but according to my experience and what I've built in the past, uh, it will be able to run even four, depending on the uh, density of the fish and the feed ratio. So there is, I don't want to go into too many details. If 
you want to get more information, go to our website and we'll be able to give you that information. Or you can contact me directly. Um, thank you again. Um, this is our last day here in Michigan. We have another project here in Michigan in Lansing. We're going to go stop by and do a site survey tomorrow. And then we have to go back to Chico. We have a, a catfish farm to build. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time and all your support. Uh, if you have any comments, and please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.